We got our prediction. With my shadow I have cast, then a long, lustrous six more weeks of winter. I, don't, I still don't understand why people are clapping about that, I gotta say. <laughs> that is not the news we all wanted to hear from our country's <laughs> yeah. most famous groundhog predicting six more weeks of winter. We've been getting forecasts from a rodent now for 136 years, yeah. Abby. I was a little too harsh on Phil earlier. I take back. He's great. He's cute. He's fun. Yep. It's been a fun morning talking about this. It has, but the, the real question here is, are these forecasts accurate? Exactly. We're digging into that. Yeah, we have some suspicion. So to discuss <laughs> this, we want to bring in somebody who did a little research into Puxatoni Phil's track record. And we're lucky to be joined by her uh, with her now, uh, Kasha Patel from the Washington Post. Good morning. Hello. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's so great to hear from you. So, yeah. I mean, let's get down to just brass mm -hmm. tacks here. How often is Phil correct? <laughs> oh, boy. It's uh, not that, I guess, depending on who you ask and how much <laughs> faith they have in a rodent, um, if it's high or not. But it's about 40% uh, for the past 10 years. Uh, according to NOAA data, it's been about 40%. And then when you extend that, there was another uh, website that looked through it. And again, it was around four, like a little less than 40%. <laughs> Oh my gosh, gosh, that's wild. If something I loved about your article is kind of digging into the history behind this. Was there anything that surprised you in digging into this topic? Yeah, so I didn't write this in the article necessarily how Groundhog Day came about, but I mean, it does have roots back quite a bit. I mean, so it came back in the 1700s when Germans actually came to the US and they celebrated this and they called it Candlemas at that time. Uh, and then we just kind of adopted it to Groundhog Day. And, you know, some people, I think, try and say kind of sciencey things, saying like, oh, you know, if it was sunny that day, that means more winter. So if it's sunny, that's why I could see your shadow or not. But a real thing that um, uh, the groundhogs do is around every February, the groundhogs do come out of the ground, the male groundhogs, to look for a mate, not necessarily no to way. forecast the weather. So, oh, wow. That That's a good fact. I love that. Uh, this has been going on for, you know, 100 and what, 130, 140 yeah. years now. And I, you know, obviously it's not the same groundhog. How long do these little, <laughs> how long do these little guys live for? I mean, if you look at the website, uh, the inner circle says it's the same groundhog, which is an incredible <laughs> yeah, sure. world right, yeah. right. record. Yeah. But on <laughs> average, funny. it's about 10 years for a groundhog. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, right. And we know and we know that Canada they have their own groundhog and it says uh, to expect an early spring up there. Uh, there's other groundhogs throughout the country. Can you can you name some of the other the other predicting animals that we have here around the country? Yeah, so um, I'm in Washington, D.C., and we have Potomac Phil. Uh, so I think he's actually a stuffed groundhog. Uh, <laughs> I was actually, when I put this out, people kept emailing me saying, you missed my groundhog, you missed my groundhog. People get very offended if you don't include their groundhog. So I should say that Massachusetts has a groundhog called Miss G. Uh, Raleigh has one, which I think is cute, called Sir Walter uh, Wally. Um, New York, Staten Island Chuck. So yeah, there's, there's a lot, and I'm sure I will be missing many, and people will email me about it. <laughs> Gosh, this is a really fun topic. Okay, last question for you. We just have a couple of seconds left. Um, Noah says about 40% accuracy. Do the Punxsutawney Phil folks uh, have a higher accuracy, higher numbers there? <laughs> if you ask the inner circle, uh, they say that Phil has a 100% accuracy, of course. And uh, of course How? is of course. the exact How are we version. measuring this, right? Yeah. But I think they say Phil is always right, but maybe their interpretation of it is not always right. That sounds so... like our philosophy, Brian. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you call fudging the numbers, right? Yeah, there. Uh -huh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Kasha Patel, thank you so much for joining us yeah. here. And uh, fascinating stuff, a long yeah. tradition for sure. All right. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much. Yeah, let's get to 